name is Ernie Ordonez. I was Ateneo Student Council President, the first batch of Ateneo activists for 68-69. The one who succeeded me was more moderate than me, and he was Edgar Hobson, 69-70. When I went to the States, I continued my efforts as Edgar Hobson did to fight for democracy. I had a warrant for arrest starting 72, and Edgar Hobson, after that, went to the underground. As a matter of fact, he joined the Communist Party. When I came back in 1981, the march was lifted on a one-way passport with no exit. I looked for Edgar Hobson. By that time, he joined the Communist Party. People knew that I felt the Communist Party were too authoritarian for my tastes, and I was shocked why he joined the Communist Party. And I was told that he had to join the Communist Party because there was no other way to fight the dictatorship. So when I came back, I was looking forward to meet him, uh, but they were watching me too closely, and they said if I met him, I'd put him in danger. The next thing I heard, he was killed. He was killed running away with shots to his back. They could have caught him alive. They could have shot his legs, but they shot him at the back. And I asked him what happened. They said that the military was so angry at him because he was impolite to the dictator when he said that he, the dictator must sign a sheet of paper. The dictator said, you're only the son of a grocer. And from that time on, I understand that they were really hot on going after Edgar Hobson. So Edgar Hobson lived his belief. He did not want to become a communist, but he had to become a communist because he said there's no other way. On the other hand, I was able to stay in a non-violent movement. Together, we were kindred in spirit, but he chose the more dangerous life and paid his life for it. Today, Edgar Hobson is one of the heroes of the Filipino nation. To Edgar Hobson, we salute you.